Hi, in today's video, I will be showing you how to set up a practice domain off of your other domain, domain you buy. I'll show you how to set up a practice domain that you can work on. I'll have a couple examples. I'll show you what I do with how I work with my um, WordPress to create things on another site and then I transfer them to my page builder. So that's today's subject, how to set up a subdomain on your domain. Okay, so the first thing you do once you purchase a domain is you set up your uh, DNS directive. Come in here and set it up so they're directed to here. What you will be doing, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a WordPress. But first you have to make sure you have your domain set up under domains. So we'll go in here under domains and you will be doing, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a WordPress. But first, you have to make sure you have your domain set up under domains. So we'll go in here under domains. The domains that I own are all here. And there isn't one here. So what I will be doing is we'll be setting that up and then we'll set up a practice domain for it as well. So what's your first step? Well, you want to create a new domain. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to put the new domain in here. Okay, so the domain I'm setting up is camelotmusic.org. Now this is how you get some goofy things that you want to share it with that I don't want it. I want it to look like this right here. So I unclick this here and there'll be a subdomain that'll be part of this here. Now I'm just going to submit this and then what that's going to do, take a moment to set up a new domain. And it's, that's what it's doing right now. It's setting up the new domain. And then we'll go to the list of domains here in a second. So the, the new domain is camelotmusic.org, public HTML folder, slash camelotmusic.org. And then if I wanted to manage it, I could click on here or create an email. So I think what we'll do is we'll click on create an email. And we'll do that real quick. So I put in support at camelotmusic.org and it says set password now. We'll do that. What I will do is we're going to generate a password. You can just keep clicking, generate a password, and then you set up and copy all these details down in a notepad so you keep them and that you have them to use. Okay, once I've set up my password, then I just click on this create. So we've got support at camelotmusic.org. We're set up the email. There's password here. And then we'll just click on here, create. And then that's going to create an email. It's going to my email addresses in support right here camelotmusic.org is right here now the next thing we're going to do is go to the main c panel and then we're going to set up our domain coming down here to wordpress and then we're going to find that here we're going to set this up and then there's our current installations Okay, and this will show what you have currently set up. Now you want to set up a fresh copy. So we're going to set up this here. Then you want the H2PS for secure reasons. Then you need to find the domain that you want to set up under camelotmusic.org. And then when you're going to come down here, you can change anything in here. And you can set up the admin that you want and the password that you want and then we're going to do that next okay so we've set up our admin our ad we've got our email address that we need we have our admin set up we have our password set up we have where it's going to be the domain it's going to be on is camelotmusic.org now here's a couple critical things i have a video and then there's your current installations. Okay, and this will show what you have currently set up. Now you want to set up a fresh copy. So we're going to set up this here. Then you want the H2PS for secure reasons. Then you need to find the domain that you want to set up under camelotmusic.org. 
and then when you're going to come down here you can change anything in here and you can set up the admin that you want and the password that you want and then we're going to do that next okay so we've set up our admin our ad we've got our email address that we need we have our admin set up we have our password set up we have where it's going to be the domain it's going to be on is camelotmusic.org now here's a couple critical things i have a video where i'm going to be discussing the difference between having the wordpress editor which will bring all the old features in or the new block wordpress and I'm, the video shows the differences between the two. So right here is where we get to choose. You get to choose the language you want this set up in. If you want anything, like you can want the classic editor. And I'm since I'm going to use this site for the video, I'm not going to set up the classic editor, but I can install the classic editor as a plugin here but i'm not going to do that i want it in english any advanced you can set these up here if you want auto upgrade wordpress plugins and auto wordpress themes which i don't want now you can set up a theme that you want here what i will be doing is we're going to set it up with a 23 and we'll select that theme then the next thing you do is you set up install simple as that now this is going to install it takes two or three minutes usually not three or four and then you'll have the details and then you can look at the site okay so now it's been installed and you can click on this for open links and it'll give you the areas and then what i do then is bookmark these there's our theme that we set up and there's our title vinyl sales in the late 70s early 80s and then our dashboard is set up here for us so then we'll take a look I've got training videos that take a look and show you what you do next on this but then our next thing is we're going to set up a sub domain using this so then we're going back to our C panel to lead in and then this is going to be a practice domain now we're in soft talkerless we're going to go that we want to install another WordPress and then you're going to click on install and then what you're going to do down here is you want this but you want to find the camelot music one this here and then you want a subdirectory you want a directory that's different so we're going to call this camelot blog okay so this is going to be under your file manager under camelotmusic.org it's going to be a, another domain that's going to be in the directory camelot blog and it's install the new one then you want to do the same thing that you did to set up camelot music in the first place so we're going to do that okay so i've got this set up got all the passwords everything set up here it's going to be camelot music camelot blog this here all the admin the passwords everything set up i've got this set up default i picked out a different theme and we're just going to click and there's a place here for email to send details to as well i'm just going to click install on this this is going to set up our practice blog another one i'll show you where it ends up in the file manager when we're completed here as well okay so soft gives us a thing it gives us again i clicked on these opened up different ones here's our new theme this is our blog one and here's the dashboard for the blog one as well so then we're going to use this and another video i'm going to show you how i use this one to practice on this one and then i publish on this one so here's your camelot blog this is our, going to be our work site it's the front end the back end is here and then we do is you go to your c panel you go down to file manager and we go to html public and we're going to have camelot music click on that and there's your camelot blog this is all the camelot music and your camelot blog everything that contains within that will be in here 
and that's where exactly you're going to find the, the inner workings for the new work site that you've created. So that's our video for today. This is the new subdomain. It's Camelot Music slash Camelot Blog. And this will be our work area. They'll be on our next video. We're going to explain how I use this subdomain to work with my main domain to create content. If you got something from the video, then please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel while you're at it. And then also hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we publish a new WordPress quick tips video or a video that talks about how to make money online through affiliate marketing. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. God bless.